Okay, on this video, we're going to do questions 7 through 9. Okay, so, how many moles are in 85.3 grams of phosphorus? Notice grams in moles, that means we're going to use the, mol the molar mass or the atomic mass of phosphorus looking on the periodic table. Alright, so, we look on the periodic table and we find that phosphorus has the atomic mass of 30.97 AMUs, which means that 30.97 grams of phosphorus is equal to one mole of phosphorus. Now that we have our conversion factor, we're going to take the number that's given to us in the question, because that's going to be our starting point, and we're going to put it over 1 to turn it into a fraction. We have grams of phosphorus on the top, that means we want to put grams of phosphorus on the bottom of the next one. If we look on our conversion factor, we see grams of phosphorus on the same time side of the equation as at 30.97. So that means it's going to be on the same line, or the same side of the line when we do our conversion. And that is equal to one mole of phosphorus. That means it's to be 85.3 divided by 30.97. And that comes out to be. 2.75. Okay. Number 8. We have grams to moles. Grams to moles, moles to grams means that we're looking for the atomic mass or the molar mass of silver. And that's off the periodic table. So, we look on the periodic table and we find that the atomic mass of silver is 107.87 AMUs, which means 107.87 grams of silver is equal to one mole of silver. All right, we now have our conversion factor, which means we're going to take our number we're trying to convert and we're going to put it over 1. We have grams of silver on the top, which means we're going to put grams of silver on the bottom of the next one. We are then going to take the number of grams, which is 107.87, is equal to one mole of silver. Grams of silver cancel out, so it should be 0.566 divided by 107.87. comes out to be 0 0.00525 moles of silver. We have one more for this video, and that's HCl. This is the first time we've had it where we've actually had a compound here and not just an element, which means we actually have to find the molar mass, we have to add them up. So we have hydrogen and we have chlorine, because H and Cl. We have one hydrogen and one chlorine because there's no numbers there. So we look on the periodic table, we look for hydrogen, and that's 1.01. And we look for chlorine, which is 35.45. So it's 1 times 1.01, and 1 times 35.45. And then we're going to add those two numbers together to figure out the total molar mass. That comes out to be 36.46. AMUs, or 36.46 grams of HCl, is equal to one mole HCl. Alright, so we take the number that's in our conversion, now that we have our conversion factor, and we can put that over one. We have moles of HCl on the top, which means we're going to put moles HCl on the bottom of the next one. Notice that 1 is on the same side as the moles of HCl, so that's going to go on the bottom. And then that 36.46 is on the other side of the equal sign, which means that's going to go on the other side of the line. Moles of HCl cancel, 
So this would be 3.4 times 36.46, which ends up being 123.96. Notice that there's only two significant figures in the initial number, which means we only want two significant figures in our final answer. Alright, and that is our answer for number nine. Those are seven through nine, and the next one will be ten through twelve.